Hello! In this figure we have a square and inside this yellow right triangle we have an inscribed circle. The radius of this circle is 2 units and this line segment is 1 unit. We need to find the side of the square. To solve this problem we will focus on this right triangle. So from the center of this circle we will draw a perpendicular down to the bottom side. Then here this line segment is 2 units and this is also 2 units. Then because the side of the square is x units, this line segment will be x minus 2. And if this line segment is x minus 2, then this line segment is also x minus 2. And this is because two tangents drawn to a circle from a point outside of the circle are equal. And now let's take a look at the left side of this square. The whole side is x and this line segment is 1 and this one is 2. Then this line segment will be x minus 1 and minus 2 which makes x minus 3. And now if this is x minus 3, then this is also x minus 3. And now in the yellow right triangle, the bottom side is x. The left side is x minus 1 because x minus 3 plus 2 is x minus 1 and the hypotenuse is 2x minus 5 because x minus 3 plus x minus 2 makes 2x minus 5. And now to find x we will use the Pythagorean theorem. We will write that x squared plus x minus 1 squared equals 2x minus 5 squared. So again x squared plus x minus 1 squared equals 2x minus 5 squared. To remove these parentheses, we will use the formula for the square of a difference. This formula is a minus b squared equals a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. Then on the left side we will have x squared plus x squared minus 2x plus 1 and on the right side using the same formula we will have 4x squared minus 20x plus 25. And we will get the same result if we multiply 2x minus 5 by another 2x minus 5. Then on the left side x squared plus x squared is 2x squared and now we have 2x squared minus 2x plus 1 equals 4x squared minus 20x plus 25. This is a quadratic equation and to solve it we need to move all the terms to one side. If we subtract 2x squared from both sides then on the right side we will have 2x squared. So I will write the equal sign and then 2x squared. If we add 2x to both sides then on the right side we will have minus 18x. So I will write minus 18x and now if we subtract 1 from both sides then on the right side we will have plus 24. So I will write plus 24 and now the left side is 0. And to simplify it more I will divide both sides of this equation by 2. And now 2x squared divided by 2 is x squared, negative 18x divided by 2 is minus 9x and 24 divided by 2 is 12 and the other side is 0. And now to solve this equation I will use the quadratic formula. So if we have an equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0 then the quadratic formula is x equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. In our equation a is 1, b is negative 9 and c is 12. Then x equals 9 plus or minus square root of negative 9 squared minus 4 times 1 
n times 12. All this over 2 times 1. Then x equals 9 plus or minus square root. And now inside here, negative 9 squared is 81. 4 times 12 is 48. And 81 minus 48 is 33. So we will have square root of 33 over 2. And now if we use the calculator, then we will get two solutions. And the first one is approximately 7.37. And the second one is approximately 1.63. Then the second solution is too small for our problem. And the solution we have now is approximately 7.37 units. So now we can say that the side of the square is approximately 7.37 units. I hope you liked this problem. Please subscribe, leave a comment and thank you for watching.